All right, we're rolling here. All right, thanks everyone for checking out the Rich Trelenza show. I got my co-host Robert Beninati. Hey, what's up? So I'm gonna hit him between the eyes with this one. What are we uh, talking about? What's the topic? I forgot. What Rich, was I Rich never say? tells me the topic until we're live. We're we're you know he hits the not always body. sometimes. Oh yeah, what may be insane? What wait? What was it called again? What me? Let me figure it out. I forgot myself. What a crazy bastard! Hold on here. What the hell was I going to call it? What may be in? Uh, what's normal to me may be insane to you. I think it's backwards. Really? What is that? What's normal to me? Oh, what's normal to you is insane to me. Right. Because your normal is not normal. Right. Okay, that makes sense. And you're pretty normal. I'm I'm normal, yeah. I would say out of a lot of my friends, you're one of the normalest guys I got around. <laughs> That's quite a lot to say about your friends. <laughs> it's not saying much. <laughs> and this goes for a lot of dudes uh, all over North America. Not not even family members in Italy. You're very. Is, let's put it this way. Did you intend to kind of be? And I don't mean normal in the sense like boring normal, but you're very structured. From the way you run your business, the way you live your home inside your, you know, your household. Mm. Uh, what was this? Were you, you weren't obviously around dysfunctionality, or were you? Or no, I, you know what? <clears throat> Honestly, and I, and I, I think I, I know what it is. I've been always surrounded by women. You know, my mom, my sister, wife, mm -hmm. three girls. You know. Um, five aunts it's always been a lot of women and they kind of depend mm -hmm. or at least i felt that they depend on me mm -hmm. um that i could not act crazy gotcha i couldn't be you know just just a fuck up i, right. I needed to do right and be there for them because they depended so even though sometimes i want to do some crazy shit i just felt like uh you know what i can't screw this up is do you think too you moving to another country like Argentina when you were younger that was a big part of it? Like you no, didn't want to get in they, trouble uh, there. No, actually, I I did get in trouble there and I did a lot of crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> what? But, <laughs> but at that time, you know, my dad was around, so I lost my dad when I was young, twenty four. From so from from the age of twenty four on, it, it kind of became more serious because my mom depended on me, my sister. Right. So that I had to you know settle down. But before that, yeah. I did some crazy shit. When you went to Argentina, I was fourteen. Dual citizenship? Is that how that worked no, out I for was you? Just a, uh, like a permanent residence. So when you went there, you got nuts. You're saying? Yeah. Okay, but then when you came back to New York, you straightened up. <clears throat> no, it's after because I came back. My dad was still alive and right. with them in Argentina. I came back to New York. So for those three years, I was yeah still doing crazy shit. It was after I lost my dad, I think. Is it when you started real estate that you had a kind of... No, no. No, really after, you know, I, I lost my dad at 24. Yeah. Um, I was sent out a year after that to Honduras, a year and a half to to, to build up a business there. Um, and I was kind of a... Still a fuck up there personally, you know. Um, not in the business side. I was right. responsible, but on my own, right? Yeah. Um, when you say that, you mean just drinking or just partying? Yeah, or when partying, you say drinking, that? women, you know, the whole thing. Right. Um, you know, late hours and wake up and, you know, sleep for two hours, wake up and go to work. Right. And act as if everything was fine. Um, it was coming back and then at the age of 29, I had my first daughter. So at that point, I, I think I just changed yeah, you yeah I settled. Yeah, yeah. Some guys don't settle, you know, at yeah. all after having kids or anything. Right. right. Some get worse. Yeah. <laughs> Some flip out. Yeah, and I think I took this uh, from my dad on my dad's side. He he was very responsible, very settled, very structured. Right. Yeah. That's interesting. And let's just take now for instance. So, you. No. No. <laughs> that was a fast no. <laughs> That's a no, no. <laughs> no, I don't. No, with you, everything you do, which I really respect, you really research everything. 
and you're very, very structured. So even if you're, say, you're going into your 50s, you don't, well, for one, you'll take chances, which a lot of people don't do, right, at our age necessarily a lot of times. So say you want to start your own podcast, which you did, Mm -hmm. right? You even want to revamp certain things. It could be your website, your business, or even being on my podcast and things. You will take chances where a lot of people may not do that. Yeah, I do. Right? No. You're not afraid of that part. No. On the other end, though, too, you because really... I'm not, because I'm not afraid of, and this is a different topic, I'm not afraid of failing because I don't see fail as a, as the word implies, like you failed as a person. No, you tried something. It didn't work. You know, try, yeah. try a different way. Right. So unless I give it a try, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Yeah, fail forward, even if you fail. Yeah, yeah, you just fail, fail fast, fail hard, and move on to the next. You know? Absolutely. Or you pivot. That's some. That's a word I always use is, you know, you pivot. Okay, I'm trying it this way. didn't work. Okay, just try a different angle and see what happens. So for me, it's not failing. Other people take it so harsh, like, oh, I failed at this. Well, no, you tried. Try again. Anyway, that's a different topic. But um, I do take... I want to say maybe calculated risks. Yeah. Like I consider and I weigh them out. I'm like, okay, it's a risk, but how bad is it? Am I going to die out of this? No. All right. So let's give it a shot. Yeah. You also, because a lot of guys are age again, 50. They either, at least the ones I'm around, they're kind of set in their ways a lot of times. You're a great listener, which I think, and I'm not saying other people don't listen, but when you're, you could tell when you have conversations with you or with other people, you are listening More than even you're talking a lot of times. You're comprehending what they're saying, and then you'll even consider implementing that or at least researching it, I realize, with you a lot of times. I guess it comes from my real estate side. If I don't listen, you know, if I don't listen to my clients, to the family, what their needs Mm -hmm. are, how can I do my work? Right. Um, And one of the biggest issues we have as humans is communication. Hmm. We think we communicate. Yeah. And not because I say something means that you understood what, what I meant by it. Because I could say one thing, but I meant something else. And I think that's why there's so much chaos, so much fighting, so much hate, so much negativity in the world. You know, I say something, and, oh, you meant this, and the other guy is, you know, or the other person is feels like a victim, and it's just the screw-up of communication. Right. So... God gives us one mouth, two ears, you know, listen more than you talk and, and kind of try to get in their heads and see, okay, what are he's, what are he or she or they trying to say really? Gotcha. So yeah, I do listen and then do my work, but that's a, no, that's on that, you know, me listening. You take an honest approach, I think too, when you're dealing with your clients from what I see as far as, uh, like really trying to protect them, not just sell them. What you say? I don't sell. I always said it. I don't sell a home. A home sells itself. You know, you're going to like it or not. You're the one that's going to live in the house. I, what I'm trying to do is make you, um, help you make a better and intelligent decision when it comes to buying a home. Right. Right. Is this the right home for me? Is this the right investment? Yeah. You know, I, I see everything as investment, regardless if it's your primary home. You, you're going to have to sell it at some point, mm-hmm. right? So make sure there's a smart investment and that the home works for you and your family right? with a, a backup idea that at some point you're going to sell and what's the resale value or you're in a good neighborhood and your school district or is, it, it, you know, the condition of the home or, you know, whatever it is. So I what I try to do is s- kind of sell my services, not and my knowledge and my experience, but not the home. The home sells itself. You don't want to buy it? No worries. There's 10 more out there. Yeah. You know? It's interesting with you. It, with your two, like your friend, you kind of treat everything kind of evenly, which is quite interesting with you. You're not all, like a lot of people, you know, when you're in a certain environment, like I would even say, if I'm in a certain environment, I'm kind of a little different. When you're with your family, you're kind of the same. When you're with your buddies, friends, it seems like you're the same. When you're oh, with man, I cut business, to the chase. I'm straightforward. I don't Yeah, play, like there's no... Uh, I'm screw. Yeah, I'm, it, it is what it is. That's pretty I got nobody normal. to impress. You know, it's... Right. You, you like me fine. You don't. I get it. You know, I might not like everyone. Not everyone is meant to commingle with everyone. You know, it's, it's, it is what it is, you know? This is too normal. 
That's normal. You see, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you. This all sounds too normal to me. Everybody else out there is like, hey, man, this guy's making me feel like a dick because he's got his shit together. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the hell. Sometimes it's interesting to be around you because I'm around a lot of uh, dysfunctionality I got, or dysfunctional whatever, and I like that. It's fun, yeah. Don't it's hilarious. Yeah, I don't care if it's my family members, friends. I don't care if it's conversations. Even my life is pretty – I you never know what – I don't even know what I'm going to do half the time. I don't know what I'm going to say half the time. And I relate to it because I, I, I am spontaneous in a lot of things. Yeah. When I feel like doing something, I just do it. You know, it's just like – I don't ask questions. I just feel like doing it. I'll, I'll do it. But I, I like, I enjoy being around guys that just are crazy. You know, right. Shitheads. Because I think I'm lacking that to a certain point. And I need to lack that because I got people dependent on me. Yeah, sure. So I can't be a screw up, you know. But I sometimes I want to just let go and just, you know. Just get crazy yeah. and laugh your ass off. Yeah, well, you're, you're also a protector. You could kind of tell that. Well, this is what's normal to me, or normal to Robert, and not so normal to me. Is that what we're saying? Something like that. Who the hell knows, but you want to see normal, like a normal podcast, not like my <laughs> own. <laughs> you can go to his real business podcast. <laughs> he interviews a lot of interesting people. Normal? Uh, what did you say? Normal people? A lot. I don't know. Are they all? Yeah, they're pretty normal, wouldn't you say? I'm sure everybody has their own little thing behind closed doors, but yeah, they seem to... Uh, very business oriented, wouldn't you say? A lot of them. Well, yeah, that's the a idea lot of your of the guests. Podcasts, yeah, that's more towards that. Yeah, my podcast business. is me going in rants, calling people assholes, or calling them out on their bullshit, calling myself out on my own bullshit, having you as a co-host, which is, which is cool, man. I, 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 dig I don't that. know. I dig that. I don't know if that's normal either. I I swear to every, a lot of people compare it to like say Bill Burr, which Bill Burr is an incredibly intelligent talent uh very intelligent i didn't mean it to be like that i didn't know he even did rants necessarily but i think yours are more entertaining educational really? but entertaining more so really right because you're the cause mines are maybe a little more structured and educational in the sense of what we're sharing you know so it's, yeah yours could be funny yours could be serious yeah i can't it you're you're structured again you know your lane I'm a guy who's a car accident. Yeah, you're the you're the guys uh, switching lanes up ahead, right? Oh my God! I'll track a U-turn <laughs> on an expressway. You know what I mean? Yeah. My buddy once we were driving to the city of Chicago once I was making fun of his car like a big asshole, and because he had all duct tape all over it, he had a sob, and he came and picked me up in it, and it was like five or six of us. We were, I mean, literally fitness sob car, and we were everybody was partying, they were drinking, and we got in the car, and I was making fun of him the whole way there. In the middle of the expressway, he just couldn't take it anymore. He just like turned right and like started going the opposite way in traffic. Just as and we went up a curb, blew a couple tires. Oh, nice. Just as and I said, This is kind of my life in a nutshell. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> this is normal. I'm like, and then we got out, which is funny. Now he's um he owns his own law firm and he's a big wing in Chicago, which is you know, you never you know, these are just my buddies. But when it comes to me, like even you, I could tell, like, say after the new year, you kind of have a certain way of you know, how you want to go throughout the year. Mm. I have absolutely no clue, no clue of how I want to attack <laughs> the next year. I was listening to you and your buddy too on how, you know, like yeah, all yeah. these, and I've heard it all a million times. So have you. And of I wonder course. sometimes I'm being the opposite of normal almost becomes an identity. And that doesn't mean like, I should say this growing around drug addicts, alcoholics, gamblers, all these different people that kind of becomes your norm. Of course. Yeah. Right. I get it. Yeah. To be normal, like, would be the opposite of them to a certain degree, I guess, in somebody's mind. But if, in reality, what, whatever's your, no how do I say what this? What is normal? Of course. Let's start by. by yeah, you. right. So is being, going the opposite of them being normal, be, being around a, pe a lot of people that are considered normal, um, when you really get to normal, a lot of times they're not what they claim to be, or it's not, the it's not really normal, if that makes sense. What's right. normal is whatever you make it i guess again you said the word it, 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 being surrounded by that was normal to me so that is your norm and you're the average of the they say you're the average of the five people you hang around with right right so that becomes your norm for sure yeah you know, if that's what they do that's what you do kind of and you're yeah. okay with it right it's so. uh, we're all nuts is what we're saying yeah basically in a nutshell 
All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. Yeah, definitely. If you get a chance, check out Robert's uh, podcast, Real Business. Do you want to mention real estate or your thing here? Because you were talking real estate. It's up to you. Yeah, if you're looking to buy, sell, rent, whatever it is in real estate in Florida, feel free to reach out to to my... Where can they reach me? Like Facebook, maybe? I don't know. Maybe your email? Robert Beninati. Facebook, 365 Realty, the company. Yeah, Orlando. I'd say 365 Realty. 365 Realty, Realty, they'd probably get a better hold of me. Yeah. 365realty.com. For sure. That's a spot. Yeah. All right. Don't get a hold of me. How's that one grab you? (laughs) (laughs) That's normal. (laughs) (laughs) No, leave a question, comment, disagree, agree with us. We don't give a shit either way. We're just here to have fun. All right. Take care, and I wish you nothing but the best.